Hey guys, it's BJ and Carly. We're back from Milton Public Library. Um, we are working today on a floating pirate ship. So, if you have a bag like this in your tote bag, you'll want to pull that out and we'll get ready for our next craft. So, this is a craft and a science activity, so get ready. And let's hope it works. So, here's our instructions. In your bag, you should have a pool noodle slice, some pieces of foam, a straw, some little pieces of foam, and you remember, you have your glue stick from the first week, so we need that. If you have a hole punch at home, great. You're gonna need a hole punch. If not, maybe you have a pair of scissors. We need that to cut some holes. So, first things first, we're gonna start with our two foam pieces. These are gonna be our sails on our pirate ship. So we're gonna just cut some holes, doot, doot. One, at, one at the top, one at the bottom, same with your white one. Like I said, if it doesn't work, go ahead and poke your scissors in. See how I just kind of put a little slit in? If you're real little, maybe a grown-up needs to help you with that part because you could get jugged by that. But um, for bigger kids, you can definitely do this yourself. So you're gonna take your, um, Back up, we need to glue on some foam pieces. So we've provided a couple different pieces. If you wanna decorate your flag, wonderful. Here's a tractor. I'm gonna make a, a farming pirate ship. So I'm just gonna glue that on. There, so my sail is gonna have the tractor on it. So, um, grab your pool noodle slice. And I think we want to jab a hole in that so that our straw will fit down in there. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just poking a little, a little hole in there. Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to put that in first, I think. So we're going to jab that down in. You see, it's not coming out. So we're going to set that on the table. It might be easier to do. And it looks like we want to thread the... Um, the white sail, the bigger one, on first. So you just stick it in that bottom hole. Remember, I cut that one, so this, this is interesting. I think I'll just do this. Make it bigger. I should have cut both sides so that it would go in a little easier. All right. And then we're gonna bend it the other way so that it's gonna stick on there all by itself like a sail. Okay. And then we have our top black one. That one's like the scarier one for pirates. If you don't have foam pieces or anything um, and you want to do this at home without the supplies that we've given, you can use cardstock or paper. Um, you can decorate with crayons or markers or something. That's not a big deal. Whatever you want to do. We're reimagining this year. So here's our pirate ship. And then here is our test to see if it's going to float. So. We have a bowl of water and a bug in the water. <laughs> so we're going to see if, oh, well, let's hope it floats. Ah, yay, it floats. So our pirate ship does float. If you notice, a lot of the things that we used in this project today is foamy, um, the, the foam and then the pool noodle. So those things are a little lightweight. You could change this up a bit and start adding some heavier things and see how many things you can pile on your boat to uh, see how, how many it takes to make it sink. Um, you could have races with your boat. Maybe you could um, put them in a bigger tub and if you have a friend or um, a sibling that maybe you all make boats, you can line them up and you can start blowing on them however you want to use it. But um, this is our pirate ship boat, pirate ship, floating pirate ship. Anyway, find us on our YouTube page and our Facebook page to find all these virtual um, activities and we'll see you next time. Bye.